21 protocols to capture a nation. How the Israelites stole the economy of Egypt. The book of Genesis of the Holy Bible reveals 21 steps by which an Israelite minority connived with government officials of Egypt to enslave its entire population economically. Protocol 1. Enter a country quietly. They drew Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit, and sold him to the Ishmaelites for twenty shekels of silver. They took Joseph to Egypt. 2. Seek managerial positions in wealthy companies. So Joseph found favor in his sight and attended him, and he made him overseer of his house and put him in charge of all that he had. 3. Seek managerial positions in government. Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they quickly brought him out of the pit. And when he had shaved himself and changed his clothes, he came in before Pharaoh. 4. Assert the superiority of the Israelite religion. Joseph answered Pharaoh, It is not in me. God will give Pharaoh a favorable answer. 5. Underscore your importance to the head of state. It is as I told Pharaoh, God has shown to Pharaoh what he is about to do. 6. Advise the government to expand its powers and taxes. Let Pharaoh proceed to appoint overseers over the land and take one-fifth of the produce of the land of Egypt during the seven plentiful years. 7. Change your family name and marry into influential families. Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphinath Pani, and he gave him in marriage Asianath the daughter of Potiphar, a priest of On. So Joseph went out over the land of Egypt. 8. Ask for unique powers within government. Pharaoh said to all the Egyptians, Go to Joseph. What he says to you, do. 9. Monopolize markets and sell at fixed prices. Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold to the Egyptians. 10. Maintain absolute control over national commodities. Now Joseph was governor over the land. He was the one who sold to all the people of the land. 11. Give economic advantages to fellow Israelites. Joseph gave orders to fill their bags with grain and to replace every man's money in his sack, and to give them provisions for the journey. This was done for them. 12. Allocate the best resources of the country to your fellow Israelites. Take your father and your households, and come to me, and I will give you the best of the land of Egypt, and you shall eat the fat of the land. 13. Obtain dual citizenship for Israelites. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make you into a great nation, and I will also bring you up again. 14. Keep intact your wealth and your families. They also took their livestock and their goods, which they had gained in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt, Jacob and all his offspring with him. 15. Provide for Israelites from the wealth of others. Joseph provided his father, his brothers, and all his father's household with food, according to the number of their dependents. 16. Seize control over the nation's money supply. Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan. 17. Ration food in exchange for modes of production. He supplied them with food in exchange for all their livestock that year. 18. 
plunge the entire population into debt. Buy us and our land for food, and we with our land will be servants to Pharaoh. 19. Assume ownership of land and real estate. Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh, for all the Egyptians sold their fields. The land became Pharaoh's. 20. Impose rent and taxes on workers. At the harvests you shall give a fifth to Pharaoh. 21. Proclaim loyalty to the nation and its population. Four-fifths shall be your own, as seed for the field and as food for yourselves and your households, and as food for your little ones. Yet never forget that your first loyalty belongs to Israel. God will visit you and bring you up out of this land to the land that he swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all the exiles whom I have sent into exile, build houses and live in them, plant gardens and eat their produce. Seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile, and pray to the Lord on its behalf, for in its welfare you will find your welfare. <laughs>